We've been wearing these masks for quite some time. And there was a period until fairly recently when masks were a fashion statement. You're wearing all kinds of masks. The important thing was just that you covered your face somehow. Well, the thinking, that's beginning to change. Dr. Anthony Fauci, chief medical advisor to the president, in 2020 was wearing a cloth mask. A double ploy type of mask would be good. Last winter, he often switched to a multi-layer surgical mask. This winter, an N95 respirator. COVID has been evolving. So, too, the recommendations of top health officials like Fauci. We should be wearing the best possible mask that we can get. That's a fact. And by that, he was referring to N95 type masks, which have an electrostatic layer that captures the most minute particles. Why the mask migration? Since the start of the pandemic, masks of all sorts have been tested. And by last spring, a widely respected study reported that cloth masks can leak 75% in and out. Surgical masks, only 50%. And N95 respirator masks, as low as 1 to 10 percent, if correctly fitted. Be sure not to crisscross the straps. Amid Omicron setting new infection records, the CDC last week updated its guidance to specify that properly fitted respirators provide the highest level of protection. Our thinking has evolved as we've learned more about it and realized that this virus can actually be transmitted through aerosols, through airborne transmission. These are much smaller particles that can easily get through some of these cloth masks. Through and also around. Around any mask, in fact, that's not sealed well to the face. And that's where differences emerge between the different types of respirator masks, as demonstrated by the self-proclaimed mask nerd Aaron Collins, an engineer who tests and reviews masks. His experiments find that N95s, which are strapped to your head with a headband, provide the snuggest fit and best protection. But not everyone finds them comfortable to wear for long periods. KF94s and KN95s use ear loops, which don't seal quite as well. That's the trade-off. KF94s are the South Korean standard, widely respected, performing nearly but not quite as well as the N95s in Collins' tests. KN95s are the Chinese version, and some experts question the consistency of their quality and note there are a lot of fake KN95s out there. Natalie, I dug out of my closet one of the masks I got very early on in the pandemic, and it turns out this is not what you want, even though it is one of these respirator-type masks. It's got this valve on the front of it that allows you to exhale, which then if I, if I were wearing this and I were infected, then could spread the virus, Natalie. All right. Well, put that one in the bottom drawer there. Don't get it back out. Thank you for all that good advice. <laughs> there you go. Because, you know, we're, we're really into this thing uh, a while, but we still have trouble with the whole mask thing. We really appreciate your insights. Jason Bellini for us.